Stone Enjoy by 420 IPA comes in at a 9.4% ABV. A90 IBUs, it gets an average rating on Untapped of 4.15. Every year, many people, for varying reasons, count down the days until April 20th. It seems the date holds a special place in the hearts of certain folks. For us, the weeks leading up mean one of our favorite Stone Enjoy by IPA beers is available. But for the first time in centuries, when April 2020 arrives, the calendar will read 420 for the entire month. We recommend getting your hands on this before it goes up and, well, you get it. Enjoy by 42020. So the good people over at Stone sent me their latest Enjoy by series, Enjoy by 420. And I couldn't actually be more excited to get something in the mail. Not just because we're stuck at home for, you know, ever. But free beer, I mean, <laughs> don't have to go to the store. So let's take a look at their latest Enjoy By series. Um, right away, the thing I can tell you the most of is, well, with an aggressive pour, you get big head. And that's all thanks to B-roll, people. The head looks fantastic. It is just pillowy, compact. A nice light looking khaki, light caramel and whiteness to it. Very appealing looking. Perfect carbonation. I can see bubbles coming just from the center so perfectly. I know this thing is just going to taste amazing just from looking at it. Even if it doesn't taste amazing, looking at it is already watering my mouth. <sighs> Sorry, I had to swallow because I just wanted to try this. That's hot goodness. It's a, it's a very candy top, very candy, orange candy peel, very appealing smelling, very sweet, malty. Uh, that's what you're getting. This is a double IPA, so, you know. Ooh, ooh yeah, okay. Oh, candy, that's, that's hop candy. Yeah, ooh, malt, a lot of malt, a lot of candy flavors. Um, I'm getting you know, like bubble gum. I really get bubblegum resininess. If like somehow Big Chew and hops kind of just came together. Oh, there's the dankiness at the back end. Now it's not super danky. Uh, it, it just lingers at the back end and the malt kicks in with it. So everything kind of sticks around with it. So something a lot of people think about the Enjoy By series is that it's just a fresh IPA that's the same every time. It's not. That's what I love about this series. Each one is different than the next. The only thing they really do truly keep the same is the ABV. I'm betting it's probably also the same yeast strain, but the hop build, the grain build, it's all different. The hop timing, all of that is all different in every single one. Not even the can art has been the same. I mean, maybe the older ones have, but modern ones, no, not so much. I'm really digging the can art on the Enjoy By series recently. Uh, if you've taken a look at the Enjoy By 1120, I thought that was an amazing looking can. They made it look very gold art deco roaring 20s is i thought was really cool and this one is no exception uh it being 420 well you kind of already know what the design is it is this purple and two shades of green flame and smoke mix it's rather appealing looking but still convey hoppy beer goodness and it's got the gargoyle at the front i think it's fantastic and almost every single one of the Enjoy By series has a huge description in the back telling you about the beer. And I love that when breweries do that. I like having a story behind my beer. Even if it's a fake one, I still wanna read it. It draws me in into buying the beer. I mean, how many beers do you buy just from label or something that's on the can? You're like, ah, uh, Ninja Juice. Yes, I'm gonna buy that. Ninja Juice IPA, I'm buying it, I don't care. I don't care if it gets a rating of two, I'm buying Ninja Juice IPA, you know, whatever. So, Stones Enjoy by 420. Should you pick one up? Well, let me put it this way. Do you like IPAs? Do you like big, bold IPAs? Do you remember when an IPA used to taste like 10 years ago? Do you like the sweet, juicy IPAs more of today? This is a combination of all of those. This is a fantastic looking, clear, double IPA that has sweet, candy, juicy, resiny notes to it with 
almost no alcohol burn. This is gonna pair well with a burger. This is gonna pair well with a steak. This is gonna pair well as just an evening sipper or a hot day beer. It's that good at being a chameleon of beers. So yeah, you wanna drink one and be done and have all the flavors of two or three? Boom, right here, enjoy by 420. So if you find yourself at your local bottle shop or grocery store and you see one of these, I highly recommend picking some up before they go up and smoke. See you guys later. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media stuff. The links will be at the very bottom of the description. Um, while you're down there, go ahead and leave a comment or two of, do you like this video? Do you not like me? Do you enjoy Stones and Joy by series? Have you tried the 420 yet? Let me know in the comments below. What was your favorite year? See you guys in the next one. Cheers.